Today, my friends, we're sliding into peeps, apparently. Welcome back to Driver San Francisco. Yes, this is the game, the legendary game, that people have been talking about for a little while, as because it's now disappeared from stores, which means this beautiful classic... Oh, I've got You push up and you boost. This beautiful classic game, which is nine years old, has been delisted, and the only way to play it is by popping a disc in if you bought it beforehand. So I'm going to treat this like you've never played Driver San Francisco before. Basically, it has a cool storyline, but we're not going to do the storyline in case people don't want spoilers, because I highly recommend playing this game. But we're in San Francisco, and if there's a car that you like on the street, all you have to do is do a quick zoom in. For example, this big boy over here. Boom! And we take over it. That actually looks like more fun, so I'm going to jump into this one. <laughs> And we're going to swing this car around my and do a quick yeah, skid. The physics on this game are ridiculously slidey. Actually, there's one other weird thing. It kind of looks like most 105 right now, doesn't it? You can see it's yellow. Now, the physics of this game, a little bit hit or miss. When you jump back on for the first time in a long time, it's very strange. But I promise you, it's one of those you can get used to. And this weird vignette around the screen, it kind of bugs me just a little bit. Okay, let's jump into a quick mission, shall we? So this is not a story mission. This is, well, technically it is, but this is just a little side activity that you have to do to unlock the main missions. Over here, for example, we're in a GTR. I forgot this game had the bloody GTR in it. Oh, there we go. There's been a break-in at the South Court showroom. There's me. <laughs> Four vehicles due to be auctioned this evening were stolen. This is Levine and Dyson Dispatch. Why are we in on this? It's for charity, Levine. Straight away, we're jumping. <laughs> They're using the feature that kind of made this game very unique. We're going to get this car. Nice there we go. Drive. Oh! Take it back home. Oh, very nice. Need for speed, baby. That's what we do it. So now we need to get to the objective across the map. And that is... Where? Oh, I see what we do. We're just literally driving these cars to the police car that we were just in, right? That's, that's what we're doing. That's a police truck. Oh, we're putting it in the truck. I see. Who would have thought? We're actually driving in the back. Oh my. Apparently, I can't drive. There you go. She's in. How many are there? Yeah, this one's already smashed to bits. I swear I didn't do this. It's part of the mission. This car is already smashed to bits as is. And then I did crash it. Yeah. So this is a surefire way to try out basically any of the freaking awesome cars in this game. There's so many. And the traffic, honestly, there's a bit too much of it at times, but... It's a good feel for the game. It works really well for this game because you can actually say, oh, this car's in my way. I can actually just jump to it and drive it off the road. Perfect. And now it's swerving for some reason. I'm telling you, this baby was loud and proud until <laughs> you got your paws on that wheel, man. You don't take it to the hole. The, I'm gonna drop you the character I'm faces are just hilarious. Get in. We did it. Cheeky little Alancia. Huh? Sorry, pal. My cause is worthier than yours. Get it together, John. If I don't get these cars into the police truck soon, they'll never be back in time for the auction. I'm trying it. It's also weird going back to the PlayStation 3 controller. Very Ooh, strange yeah. controller. Very light. Not much to it. Not much girth. I'm all sliding all over the place. Oh, the truck's up there. Just pop off road a little bit. I thought we were actually going to put them all in the same truck for a few minutes, but uh, no, apparently. Crap. <laughs> Deliver one more stolen car and the world's a better place. See? Stuff stolen car videos on YouTube. They ain't stolen cars. Those these YouTubers just built them. That's a sick. They didn't actually steal them. But this, however, oh yes. Hey, who are those guys? Oh! Those guys. Get it together, Marcel. It's We're gonna go. Alright. Now I'm being bullied. Hey, come on, just Let's get it. Let's get away. This Let's go. This is a shortcut, right? No. Nope. This is gonna hit me into a wall. Who is this fella? Now, we're taking it back to the auction, mate. Again, if you're confused, we take over people's bodies when we jump into the cars. It's such a weird concept to explain to someone that's never played this before. But I promise you, get this damn game. If you see it in a store, cheap as chips, get this damn game. Holy crap! The truck's moving. Here we go! Oh, yes! What yeah. you gonna do now? It's the police. Okay, so we unlocked a main storyline mission, but now I kind of want to jump into the garage. So you can actually buy vehicles, I believe. I, I, if I remember correctly, yeah, buy vehicles. So in here, I have quite a lot of vehicles to hand. These are just the manufacturers you can go through and you can see. There's so many freaking cool vehicles in this game. Honestly, it's such a damn... Why is this game not more popular? I know 
back when it came out, it wasn't a very popular game. And if this came out when I was doing my YouTube bins, like all the time, mate, this would have this was been so. I remember buying this game discounted like a year or two after it came out, and I, I was so impressed. Yes, TDU2 vibes. Anyone else? TDU2 vibes. We now get to explore the world in the Pagani. Don't mind if I do. Let's get it. Do some jumps, baby. So again, this game, last time I played it, was available online. I'm not actually sure if it still works online. Mate, it's so hard to control the cars at speed. The online mode of this game, again, also revolutionary. It is also pretty easy to damage out your car. I've been saying for a while, I would love a need for speed game to be in San Fran. San Fran is just... Oh, that's a police car. But can I just take over the police? No, I can't. <laughs> it's a shame. I think if I want to escape the police chase, I can literally just jump out of the car, right? Because they'll have no idea. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm losing them already. <laughs> yes, spaghetti! Oh! We escaped. Hell yeah, baby. Oh, thanks, game. You just drive me into that car. I think I broke it. Yep, it's dead. Well, there is a race right next to us as well. Very cool. That actually unlocks certain cars and stuff. That's how you unlock the cars when I'm doing the races and a lot of other activities. Jump back to the garage. We've also got these driver challenges or special challenges. Let's do... Uh... <gasps> Wait! That's the final mission! The final missions on this game, I love them. But let's jump into some of the earlier challenges. What do we got? School boss, adrenaline junkie. Let's do adrenaline junkie. Can I remember what to do? No, I can't. Let's go, baby! This weird filter on it. Oh, oh! Keep the heart rate above whatever. I can't even remember. I didn't even read it. So basically, you've got to be stupid. Drive like an absolute maniac. And that's something I can do quite easily. Don't let the heart rate drop, baby. Don't want to die. So literally, just keep drifting around. Am I going to have a heart attack, though? Is a heart attack when it beats too fast or too slow? That's a good question. I actually don't know that. I should probably know. <gasps> you can also drive under the trucks. I forgot! Oh, my best... Oh, you gotta just go as long as you can, I see. So my best at the moment is 3 minutes 40. Which is probably the minimum I needed. Let's be, let's be honest. <gasps> yes! We're taking the big truck. I'm gonna do a cheeky little jump. That didn't really not go to plan. No! My heart rate's dropping! It doesn't like the drifting. It needs more than drifting! It's amazing that crashing doesn't actually... No! I'm gonna die! If you crash for some reason, it just reduces it. Surely that would increase the heart rate. It's more difficult than it looks, okay? <laughs> it's also very difficult to stay stable in this damn game! Oh, I need another one of these games. Why, why has it been so long? The last games that Reflections made... It was of Reflections that made this game. Was a couple of indie games, I think? Which is great. Glad they're trying new things, but please, man, I need another driving game. It gives you these stupid challenges to do, to drive on the trucks. This is the perfect game. Perfect car, car game. Handling, a bit wonky. Can we get two in one? There you go, that's one. <laughs> Not quite two in one, but... If I can get through one truck without actually touching the truck, it reminds me of me old days on LA Rush. Oh, yes. That beautiful classic game that I definitely need to do some more videos on. If I did a Let's Play, I don't know how many people would actually watch it. Because I don't think that game was in many childhoods, but it was in mine. And so it's special. But I did Juiced and people... There were some people vibing with Juiced. Maybe we'll do another episode of Juiced at some point. Okay, that truck's basically blocked. So it ain't happening. It's just spawning nothing but trucks. Oh, can we do two in one? No, why is he doing that? They line up and then they just give up. Help! Ah! As you can see, trucks cause a little bit of damage. You need to be a bit careful around them as to not destroy yourself. That would be quite wise. We're so close. I'm sure it's 20, right? It's 20. Through. One more. One more. One more. No! Oh, we've got 10 seconds and no health. Please. Under. And through. That's a very basic look. A driver San Francisco. Nah, bit of boost, love. Bit of boost. How'd you like that? Huh? Oh. Stop. I can't take anymore. Sure you can. Let's I'll stop. Go again. She ain't getting out. Do some quick skids. Mustangs with soft tops. Not a fan. Not a fan. Anyway, that was... <laughs> I thought two trucks were being carried there. 
that was your first experience of Driver San Francisco returning in 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to see more of it, let me know. Big boy truck. Of course, you can also just bully people with trucks, which is always fun. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and let me know if you want to see more Driver San Fran on the channel, and maybe we'll do some online on it. Until next time, peace.